Hey everyone, Jaystopper with a complete tutorial on a deluxe gourmet kitchen complete with double oven, stove, hood, microwave, dishwasher, and refrigerator. Let's get started. Let's start the base of the kitchen with an 8 by 16 plate and a 16 by 16 plate. Set them side by side. Skip one stud from the top left. Place down a 1 by 8 plate. Let's set a 1 by 6 plate in the middle, followed by another 1 by 8 plate on the right. Let's take a 2 by 10 plate, place it on the top right, right below the 1 by 8 plate. Set down a 2 by 3 plate, followed by a 2 by 2 plate on the right. Let's finish up this side with two 1 by 8 plates. This is going to be the foundation for the cabinets and walls. Let's place another 2 by 10 plate on the top, making sure everything is pressed down firm, and another 2 by 10 plate on the left hand side. Take two more. 1 by 8 plates, place them on the left, on the bottom left. Let's set down a 1 by 2 plate. Let's add a tile floor to the kitchen. You can use any design you wish. I'm just going to fill in this box with several tiles. I'm going to be using a 2x2 two two checkered pattern. Here is the tile floor all installed. In the center there is a 2x8 opening for an island. On the bottom left a 2x4 opening for a double oven. On the right a 3x8 opening for a refrigerator. Let's start the first row of wall. Let's start on the bottom left with a 1x6 brick. Let's place a 1x2 brick on the top part of the 2x4 opening and another 1x2 brick on the bottom portion. Set down a 1x8 brick on the left hand side. Let's wrap around the corner with a 1x2x2 two two corner brick. Let's set down a 1x6 brick on the top. Place a 2x3 brick in the top left. This opening is going to be for the stove. Place a 1 by 8 brick in the center, followed by a 1 by 6 brick on the right. Let's wrap around this corner with another 1 by 2 by 2 corner brick. Let's place a 1 by 8 brick on the right, followed by a 1 by 6 brick. In the top right, place a 2 by 3 brick and a 1 by 2 brick. Skip three studs, set down a 1x2 brick. 
On the left hand side of the 2x3 brick, skip four studs, place down a 1x2 brick. Let's start the second row with two 1x8 bricks on the left hand side. Set two one by two bricks on the previous one by two bricks. Place a one by eight brick on the top left, followed by a two by three brick. Set down a one by six brick in the center. And a 1x8 brick on the top right. Let's finish up the right hand side with two 1x8 bricks. Place a 2x3 brick in the top right. Set down two one by two bricks as shown. Followed by a one by two brick right on top of the previous one by two brick on the right. Take two two by three by two cupboards, place them on the back wall on the top left. Take another 2 by 3 by 2 cupboard, place it on the right wall. Take six drawers, set them inside the cupboards. These look nice. The reason why I pulled the drawers out is so I can press down on the bottom of the cupboard for a nice snug fit. Now let's build our stove, sink, and dishwasher. Let's start the stove with a 2x6 plate. Place a 1x6 brick in the back. Take two 1x2 bricks, place them in the front where we have one stud on the left and right hand sides. Now take three studs, place them on top of one another. Set this assembly on the left. The same for the right hand side with three more studs. Let's crown off the top with a 2x6 plate. Place a 2x2 two two plate right in the center, followed by a 1x2 plate in the front. Take a 2x2 two by, two by 2 thirds plate with two knobs on the front, place it on the left. Take another 2x2 two by, two by 2 thirds plate with two knobs, place that on the right. In the back, let's set down a 1x6 plate. Take two radiator grills, place them right in the center. Set down two 1x2 jumper plates on the left hand side for burners. 
two more 1x2 jumper plates on the right hand side. On the front, take four 1x1 one one round tiles, place them on the knobs, These are going to be the control knobs for the stove. Let's start the bottom of the sink with a 2x6 plate. Place a 2x2 plate on the left hand side where we have a 1x2 opening. Take another 2x2 plate, place it on the right hand side. Place two studs on the left, and two studs on the right. Let's repeat the same process again, starting with two two by two plates, followed by four studs. Two on the left, and two on the right. Let's lock in the top with a 2x6 plate. Let's place a 1x2 brick in the back. Take a 1x2 wall element, place it in the front of the 1x2 brick. Take two 1x2 triple wall element, place two on the right hand side. Take two more 1x2 triple wall element, place them on the left. Finally, a tap on top of the 1x2 brick. There's our triple basin sink. Let's build a simple dishwasher starting with a 2x4 plate. Set down a 2x4 brick on top of the 2x4 plate. Place a 2x4 plate on top of the 2x4 brick. Take a 1x2x2 corner plate, place it on the left, followed by another 1x2x2 corner plate on the right. Finally, let's finish this spot with a 1x2 plate with stick for a handle. There is the simple dishwasher. Let's set the stove on the left wall. You'll have to press down firm on this one. Let's set the sink in the center. And our simple dishwasher. Let's construct the island. Let's begin the construction of the island with two 2x3x2 two by by two cupboards. Flip them upside down. Place a 1x4 plate in the back. Now, set down a 1x8 plate in the front to lock the base together, take a 1x2x2 corner plate, place it on the left hand side. Take another 1x2x2 corner plate, place it on the right hand side. Let's flip the assembly over. Let's add some sides to the island. Starting with two one by three plates. 
let's set down two one by one plates in the center of the one by three plates. Let's take two studs, place them on the left assembly, and two studs on the right assembly. Now, set down two one by one bricks right on top of the one by one plates. Let's set down a couple of one by one nose cones on top of the studs. Take two more one by one plates, place them on top of the one by one bricks. Finally, crown off the top of the nose cones with some studs. Let's lay these flat and press down so we can line up all the bricks and plates together. Let's place one assembly on the left hand side and one on the right side. Take four drawers, set them inside the cupboards. So there will be four drawers in total. There we have our center island. Let's drop the island in this opening. Let's tile our kitchen counters starting with a 1x2 flat tile right next to the stove. Now place four 2x2 two two flat tiles on top of the cupboards. On the right hand side Let's set down five two by two flat tiles. Place a one by two flat tile on the right, followed by a two by two flat tile. Let's tile the island. Start with a 2x4 flat tile. Place it where it's flush with the drawers and hang it over on the front. Set down a 1x4 flat tile. A 2x4 flat tile. Another 1x4 flat tile followed by a 2x4 flat tile. We have a nice overhang on the island. Let's start the third row of bricks on the bottom left starting with a 1x6 brick. Place two 1x2 bricks on the previous 1x2 bricks. A 1x8 brick right behind the stove. A 1x2x2 by two by two corner brick to lock in the top left corner. Set down a 1x8 brick on the left hand side. Another 1x8 brick on the right hand side 
where we skip four studs. Place a one by two by two corner brick on the top right, followed by a one by eight brick and a one by six brick. Let's set down two one by eight bricks left hand side. This will start our fourth row. Set down two one by two bricks on the previous one by two bricks. Take two one by eight plates, place them on top of one another. Set down a two by eight plate right on top of the one by eight plates. Set this assembly on the left hand side. This is going to be a lip to hold the upper cabinets. Let's fill in this area with a one by one brick. Take another one by one brick, place it as shown. This opening is going to be for a window. Now place a one by eight plate. Set down another 1 by 8 plate on the right hand side. Let's build up another layer, starting with a 1 by 4 plate and a 1 by 3 plate. Let's lock in this corner with a 1 by 2 by 2 corner plate. Finally, a one by six plate to level off this area. Now let's build our lip starting with a two by three plate. And two two by six plates. To complete our corner cabinet lip assembly. On the right, let's set down a one by eight brick to finish up this wall. Let's start the fifth row with a 1x6 brick and two 1x2 two bricks on the bottom left. Place these on top of the previous 1x2 bricks. Let's set a 1x8 brick right by the stove. A 1x2x2 one by two by two corner brick lock in the corner. Set a 1 by 8 brick in the back. Let's place another 1 by 8 brick on the right hand side. Now a 1 by 2 by 2 corner brick, a 1 by 8 brick, and a 1x6 brick to finish up the right hand side. Let's take two 1x2x3 two windows with pane, set them inside the opening. This will let some natural light into the kitchen. Let's start the sixth row with a 1x3 brick and a 1x4 brick. Take two 1x2 bricks, place them on the previous 1x2 bricks. Those are the last 1x2 bricks we'll see in that area, I promise. Skip four studs, set down a 1x2 brick and a 1x3 brick. Place a 1x4 brick top left. 
take a one by one brick with one knob, a one by one brick, another one by one brick with one knob, and a one by one brick in this area. These two bricks with knobs are going to be used to hold in the microwave. Let's skip six studs. Place down a 1x8 brick. Finally, two 1x8 bricks on the right hand side. Let's construct the upper cabinets. Start with two 2x3 two bricks. Place them as shown. Let's place a 1x2 brick on the top and another 1x2 brick on the bottom. Let's set this assembly in the top left. Place a 2x4 flat tile on the lip. This will finish up the bottom of the microwave. Take two 1x2 two bricks, place them on top of one another, and set them on the right hand side of the 2x4 flat tile. Now, grab two 2x3x2 two by by two cupboards, place them on top of the lip. Take two 2x3 two bricks, place them on top of one another, and place it in the top right hand side. Take another 2x3x2 two by by two cupboard, place it on the lip, and two 1x2 two bricks on top of one another. Set this assembly on the right hand side of the cupboards to fill in this area. Now let's construct the double oven, the hood, and the microwave. Let's construct the double oven starting with a 2x4 plate. Let's place three 1 by 2 flat tiles along the bottom portion and left and right sides of the 2 by 4 plate. Let's place a 1 by 2 brick in the back followed by two 1 by 1 angular bricks. Let's attach two one by one plates on the angular bricks. Let's construct the sides or the bottom oven. Take two two by two plates and two two by two flat tiles. Place the flat tiles on the plates. Let's take the left hand side Set down a transparent one by one brick on the top and a standard one by one brick on the bottom. Same goes for the right hand side. Take another one by one transparent brick and a one by one standard brick. To keep everything lined up, take a two stud long cross axle. Place it in like so. It'll snap in place. These two areas will be lined up. Let's place the left and right hand sides on the one by one plates. Take a one by two plate with stick 
any 1x4 flat tile, place the flat tile on top of the 1x2 plate with stick. Let's take a 1x2x2 two two corner plate, place it on the left where it wraps around towards the back. The same goes for the right hand side with another 1x2x2 two two corner plate. Take a 1x1 one one flat tile, place it on the top left. And another 1x1 one one flat tile on the top right. Let's set the handle assembly on top of the angular bricks. Place a 1x2 brick in this opening, followed by two 1 by 1 angular bricks. Let's finish off the angular bricks with two 1 by 1 plates on both left and right hand side. Let's construct the sides for the top oven starting with two 2 by 2 plates and two 2x2 two two flat tiles. Place the flat tiles on the plates. Starting with the left hand side, take a 1x1 one one transparent brick, place it on the top, and a 1x1 one one standard brick on the bottom. Same goes for the right hand side with another 1x1 one one transparent brick any one by one standard brick. Let's slip a two stud long cross axle and the standard brick. Place the left and right hand sides on the one by one plates. Let's build the controls and the handle assembly for the top portion of the oven starting with a 2x4 plate, flip it upside down, place a 1x4 brick on the back. Take a 1x1 one one angular brick and a 1x1 one one flat tile that has a gauge print, slip the gauge on the angular brick, place it as shown. Let's make another one with another 1x1 one one angler brick and a 1x1 one one flat tile with a gauge print. Flip it upside down and set it on the left. Take two 1x1 one one bricks with one knob. Let's place one on the left and one on the right followed by two one by one round flat tiles for knobs. Take a one by two plate with stick. Place it right underneath the angular bricks. To finish off the bottom, take two one by two by two corner plates. One on the left and one on the right to wrap around the one by two plate with stick. Place the top assembly on top of the top oven. Make sure everything is lined up. There is our double oven. Let's start the hood with a 2 by 6 by 2 thirds plate with four knobs. Let's set a 1 by 2 plate on the left and another 1 by 2 plate on the right hand side. Place a 2 by 4 plate in the back. Flip it over. Set down a 1x4 plate in this area. 
flip it over again, set down a 1x4 plate in the back. Place a 2x2 slope in the center. Let's finish up these two corners with two double slopes. Place a 1x4 plate on top of the slopes, followed by a 1x4 flat tile. Now, take four 1x1 round flat tiles, place them on the knobs for control knobs. There's the hood. Let's construct the microwave oven starting with a 1x2x2 frame. Slip a piece of glass inside the frame. Next, take a 2x2 flat tile, place it on the left hand side. Take a 1x2x1x2 by by angle plate and a 1x2 plate. Place the 1x2 plate on these set of studs. Let's fill in this area with a 1x2 flat tile. Let's attach this assembly on this portion of the 2x2 flat tile. Next, take a 1x2x2x2 by two by two angle plate and a 1x2 plate. Place the 1x2 plate on these two studs. Let's cap off these studs with a 1x2 flat tile. Let's place this assembly on the right hand side of the window. Let's set down a 1x2 brick on these two studs, followed by a 1x2 flat tile with graphical print for a control panel. There we have a microwave oven. Let's install the double oven right in between the 1x2 brick assemblies. This has to be pressed down firm to get it snug. Next is the hood assembly. This has to be wiggled in a bit. And our microwave. It just slides in the slot. Let's start the seventh and final row with a 1x2 brick in the bottom left. Place another 1x2 brick right next to the previous 1x2 brick. Place a 2x2 two two brick right on top of the double oven. Place a 1x4 brick right here. Now, let's set down a 1x2 brick on the other side of the 2x2 two two brick. Let's lock everything together with a 6 brick. Place it right above the oven. Now, place this 1x6 brick right behind the hood. Let's set down a 2x3 brick in the top left corner to lock that joint together. Now, set down a 2x2 two two brick, fill in this side of the hood, 
Let's place three one by six bricks in this area. This will frame in the microwave. Now let's take a one by four window width arch, place it right above the one by two by three windows. Take a one by six by two brick width bow, place it right above the window. Let's take three more one by six bricks, place them right above the cabinets. Make sure you hold down the cabinets while you're pressing down on the bricks. Place a two by three brick in the top right. Let's set down two one by six bricks right above the upper cabinets. Place a one by eight brick in this area, followed by a one by six brick. Let's set some cupboard doors inside the cupboards. Sometimes they're a bit of a challenge to get in. They don't want to cooperate. This one's being extra stubborn. <laughs> it doesn't want to go in. Finally. Let's set the last cupboard door in this area. Now, let's build the refrigerator. Let's start the construction of the refrigerator with a 2x8 plate and a 1x3 brick. Place the 1x3 brick on the left hand side. Let's slip in a 1x8 plate right underneath the 1x3 brick. Next, take three 1x6 flat tiles. Place them in the center. Followed by a 1x3 brick on the right hand side. Let's place two more 1x3 bricks right on top of the previous 1x3 bricks. Let's set down this 1x8 plate right on the back and a 2x8 plate in the front. This slot is going to be for the pull-out drawer for the freezer. Take two 1x3 bricks, place them on top of one another, and set this assembly on the left. Take two more 1x3 bricks, place them on top of one another, and place this assembly on the right hand side. Let's set down three 1x2x2 two two wall elements on top of the one by plate in the back. Let's set down a two by six plate on top of the wall elements. This is going to be our shelf. Take two more 
one by three bricks, set them on top of one another, and set them on the left. The same goes for the right hand side with two more one by three bricks on top of one another. Set this assembly on the right hand side. Take three more one by two by two wall elements. Place them right on top of the 2x6 plate in the back. Take a 1x1 one one plate, place it in the top left corner. Another 1x1 one one plate in the top right corner. Now, take a left handed one by three by four door, place it on the left. Take a one by three by four right hand door, place it on the right. Let's lock the doors in with a two by eight plate. You may have to wiggle the doors a bit to get them to line up. Let's set down a 1x8 plate in the front, followed by a 2x8 plate in the back to lock in the sides and the wall elements. Make sure everything is locked in nice and snug. Let's build the freezer drawer. Let's start the drawer with a 1x2 by 2x2 two two corner plate and a 2x4 flat tile. Place the tile in the center on the bottom lip. Take another 1x2 by 2x2 two by two by two angle plate. Place it on the opposite side. Take two more one by two by two by two angle plates. Place them in the rear. And two more one by two by two by two angle plates in the front. Now, take a one by two plate and a one by two wall element. Place the wall element on top of the one by two plate Set this assembly on the left. Let's make another one for the right with another 1x2 plate and a 1x2 wall element. Place this one on the right. For the front of the drawer, let's start with a 1x6 flat tile. Place it on the bottom. Take a 1x2 jumper plate, place it in the middle. A 1x2 flat tile on the left, and a 1x2 flat tile on the right. Finally, take a 1x1 one one round flat tile, place it on the jumper plate for a knob. Let's set the drawer in the opening. Now we have a drawer to store frozen food in. Before we can install the refrigerator, let's pull out the drawer. Set it in this area. Press down firm. You also want to press down inside as well where the drawer goes in. Flip the drawer inside. Perfect fit. Let's crown off the top with flat tiles. Let's start with a 2x4 flat tile on the bottom left. The tiles will lock all the cabinets together. Place a 1x6 flat tile on the front of the 
double oven. A 2x2 two two flat tile. A 1x6 flat tile. A 2x4 flat tile. To finish up the left hand side, place a 2x4 flat tile on the top left. A 1x6 flat tile. And a 1x1 flat tile. Let's wrap up this area with a 2x2 two two flat tile. Place a 1x8 flat tile above the window to lock the brick with bow in. Set a 1x2 flat tile on the left hand side and another 1x2 flat tile on the right hand side. Place a 2x2 two two flat tile, a 2x4 flat tile, and a 1x6 flat tile for the top. Now, for the right hand side, let's set down four 2x4 two flat tiles. These will lock in the cupboards and the refrigerator. Let's finish above the cabinets with two one by two flat tiles, a one by one flat tile, and two two by four flat tiles. Now the top of the kitchen is finished off. This concludes the tutorial for the Deluxe Gourmet Kitchen. It is the perfect height for minifigures. Jay the Surfer seems to like it. Now he can fix meals after a long day of surfing. I hope this tutorial helped everyone out. Thank you for watching.